Well, my friends, welcome back. It's good to be with you here again this week. Today, I want to talk about having pets. Many of us have pets as part of our families or we know people who have pets. Having pets is a big responsibility. There's a lot to do to take care of them. Maybe you have a dog or a cat or a bird or something exotic like a tarantula or a lizard. But if you have a pet in your house, you know that there are many jobs that you have to do to make sure that your pet is happy and healthy and that they are taken good care of. I know I have two Britneys and they are dogs who live with us and there is a lot of things that we have to do to make sure that they are healthy and happy in our family. The first thing you have to do every day is feed them, right? You have to have good nutritious dog food for them and that helps them to stay healthy. You always have to make sure that they have fresh water, especially when it's hot. Um, and if they're outside in the hot weather, you may have to make sure that they have shade to, to lay down in, or if it's cold outside, you have to make sure they have a warm place to stay. Um, you certainly have to take them to the vet every once in a while to make sure that they've had all their shots and that they are um, growing in a healthy way. Um, you also have to get them out and, and get, make sure that they have exercise. I know with our two Britneys, if we don't get them out outside and get them um, running around, they get into trouble. <laughs> they need exercise so that they will stay um, happy and be a little bit tired out when they come inside and are part of our family. Um, and so we make sure that they get a walk every day and get a chance to play outside in the fresh air. We also have to love them. We have to spend time with them and uh, play with toys with them. Just give them attention. Sometimes it's just sitting on the couch next to each other and that's certainly enough for me. I love to snuggle um, with our pets, with our two dogs. Um, so that's kind of what being a caretaker is all about. It's about um, loving our animals and our animals loving us back and we kind of have a, a relationship with each other. Um, today I want to read some scripture that explains what Jesus is thinking about when he talks about being a caretaker for us, about being a shepherd. He is um, thinking about the ways that a shepherd takes care of his sheep. What kind of a, a relationship does a shepherd have with the sheep that he takes care of? So I'm going to read from the book of John, um, the 10th chapter, verses 14 and 15. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me, just as the Father knows me and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. Wow, that's pretty special. It means that God and Jesus know each one of us by name. They know each member of their flock, just like the shepherd knows each one of the sheep in his flock. Jesus knows each one of us and we can get to know him, can't we? And um, Jesus loves us so much that he actually gave his life for us. We just finished listening to the Easter stories about Good Friday and Jesus' crucifixion, his resurrection when he came through death and um, came back to show us how much God loves us. So when Jesus says he will lay down his life for us, he, he actually did that because he loves and cares, cares for us so much. Um, I have a picture that shows Jesus as the Good Shepherd. Maybe you've seen pictures of Jesus where he is pictured as being a shepherd taking care of sheep. You'll see that long bent stick in his hand called a crook. Shepherds use that to pull their sheep back in when they are going astray, when they're getting lost. Jesus does that to us, doesn't he? He says, oh, wait a minute, you're going off the path, you're getting confused, you're not following directions, you need to come back to me because I will show you the right way to go and I will keep you safe. Jesus also tells us that um, sheep know shepherds by their voices. 
um, they are with the shepherd so much that the sheep get to know the exact sound of, of their shepherd's voice. And um, the shepherd knows each one of his sheep and the sheep know their own shepherd. So I have two sheep here. And if we were pretending that these sheep were together all in a big sheep fold, if they had spent the night sleeping all together, um, maybe sometimes two flocks would get mixed up together um, or shepherds would take their sheep down to a river to give them a drink of water and the flocks would get all mixed up. When it was time for the shepherds to take their sheep home, they would call them and the sheep would be like, oh, I recognize my shepherd's voice and they would go off with their shepherd and the other sheep would recognize their shepherd's voice and they would go off to be with their shepherd and they would divide into their flocks. So Jesus is saying that he knows and cares about us so specifically. He knows each one of us so, um, just so individually that he knows us and what we need and we can get to know him and his voice. And we're like, wait a minute. How, how can we know Jesus's voice? He's not here on the earth. We can't hear his voice without his ears. So the thing that we have to do is we have to read scripture. And when we listen to Jesus's words in the Bible, when we read skip scripture and think about the meaning of scripture for our lives, we can get to know Jesus's voice very well. So reading scripture, thinking about it, learning about it is very important. I, I spend a little time each week in a Bible study group because even though I am very old, I still need to listen to God's word and to know more about scripture and what it means for my life. Um, we might not hear Jesus's voice with our ears, but we will know the meaning of his words with our hearts when we read his words in the Bible. Um, I'm going to share a prayer with you now to end for today. And maybe sometime this week you could spend some time reading scripture and listening for Jesus' voice. He wants us to be a part of our he wants us to be a part of his flock and to listen for his voice and to know the meaning of his words. Dear God, we are thankful for your son Jesus. He is our caretaker. He knows us each as a special person who is a part of his flock. Help us to listen for his voice that guides us and keeps us safe. Help us to know the truth of his words with our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So go have a good time this week being good caretakers for your pets because we know that Jesus is a good caretaker for us. Have a great week. Take care. Bye-bye.